This is going to be your guide to getting level 100 Pokemon as well as 6 IV Pokemon in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Now you might not know this, but you probably don't need the guide. And it depends on what your goals are. If your goals are like, oh hey, this is just a quick experience video, so I'm going to get my Pokemon to level 50 and I can use it for competitive, then yeah, this isn't for you. Because once you actually like put in the code and then you get a battle with someone, if you do a flat battle, all Pokemon are set to level 50. And you don't want to do the free battle anyways, because anything goes means candies are going to come into play and just going to be a ton of hackers with plus 200 stats in every Pokemon. So when you do a flat battle, all Pokemon, regardless of level, are put to level 50, even Pokemon lower level. So using this to make a quick competitive Pokemon to get it out there for flat battling actually isn't needed. The only thing needed for flat battling are IVs and natures. And that's it. I cover this in my competitive Pokemon guide. If you want to learn more on getting quick competitive, check that out in the description down below. Also, if this video ends up helping you, don't forget to leave a like. So, there's a few benefits. There's like a few reasons why you want to get Pokemon to level 100. First off, just playing and beating the game. Having high level Pokemon for the Elite Four, that's going to be pretty nice. Chansey swatting away my first throw, that's not nice. And also hyper training. Hyper Training has a variety of uses, once you get a Pokemon to level 100, you can get hype, and then that's how you get a Pokemon to gain IVs that they wouldn't have had otherwise. Um, IVs in this game, they're pretty interesting, so I just fled for that Chansey because I have a decent catch combo, and after a couple failures, you don't want to risk the Pokemon running away, so just safer to flee for yourself. Chansey has a 10% encounter in Cerulean Cave, so I would just rather not chance it. Now. Here's the interesting thing about IVs. Again, I've done like IV guides and competitive guides. I'm going to be repeating myself a lot, but it, it all comes together. Like this game is so connected with everything that happens. It's kind of crazy. Uh, you get four IVs guaranteed from a catch combo of 31 or more. Now, five and six IVs are still possible. And if you're doing hundreds of catch combos to get all the candies, which kind of don't matter for competitive, or if you're going for a shiny Pokemon, you're definitely going to end up with five IV Pokemon, and potentially a lot of Pokemon that are just straight up competitive with what you're looking for. This Meowth, I got it at around 80-ish, 90-ish, in a chain that ended up being 160 for Meowth. And I also used the Celadon, uh, Madame Celadon, to get the nature that I want. So getting competitive Pokemon isn't hard. However, legendary Pokemon, they're only getting guaranteed IVs of three and not even the wild ones. So this was actually a wild caught Moltres from the sky. If you get the uh, static Moltres th or Articuno or Zapdos, they're going to have three guaranteed IVs. Same goes for the Mewtwo. This one ended up having four. Lucky me. Uh, the thing is, like, yeah, if I want to make this guy competitive, then that means I need to get to level 100, hyper train those other stats. Hyper training uses bottle caps, which we will talk about later on this video, how to get the bottle caps. And then if you want to talk to Mr. Hyper, he's going to be in the daycare on Route 5, south of Cerulean City, and then you have a level 100 Pokemon, you do that, it's just like Pokemon Sun and Moon. Another reason why you also want to get a level 100 Pokemon for hyper training are shiny Pokemon. Because without that guarantee, like, yeah, you could eventually just stumble into a 5 IV, 6 IV competitive Pokemon through the uh, chaining method. But if you just get a shiny Pokemon and it's not usable, that's bad. So that's what you could also do it for. And that's kind of it. Now, another thing is money. Oh my goodness, does this method eat money. As you might notice, I have the second trainer out, and that's pretty much mandatory against Chansey, because you get bonus experience, which is kind of the whole reason why we're here, and Chansey is incredibly difficult to catch solo, so this effectively, like, guarantees your chances. Now, there's a lot of, like, really cool things that are happening while we're going for Chansey, because Cerulean Cave has respawning items, and every time you go into a Pokemon encounter, it actually redoes the respawn. Ooh, this, this could be money, though. So we got Chansey popping up, we have a catch combo, it's huge, and you're going to find golden raspberries. Now, the golden berries, they sell for 2500 each. You're going to be spending 1000 Poké Dollars per throw on these Ultra Balls, so it's like, kind of, how much do you want to increase the value of this battle? Because that's going to make it, you know, 3500 minimum by using this golden raspberry, or also just use a raspberry, even if it slightly helps. Trying to get a first catch bonus on a colored uh, Chansey like this is going to be pretty ridiculous. Good thing I waited right there. I almost got jabated, and oh, I didn't get the excellent. I was a little late. I hesitated. It's bad. But maybe we'll still get some pretty crazy experience anyways, or if it ends up breaking out, which is likely, then we can go for an excellent, lose the first throw bonus. Madness. There we go. That is how you look good for a YouTube video, my, my dudes. Uh, let's, let's hope it happens, then we can kind of see how crazy the experience gets. 
So this could be my chance. See, catch combo of like 11 or 12 right now. I wasn't paying attention. And 11,000 experience. So imagine if that was first on excellent, everything else went right. But here's the thing. Once you start getting some crazy catch combos, things get madness. Like my highest multiplier I've seen so far was like 50. And that wasn't against Chansey. That was like against another Pokemon. And that was pretty nuts. But this, successful catch, excellent throw, first synchronize, and like a 60 combo on the Chansey, giving 90 thousand experience that's when everything goes right and as your catch combo goes higher it's just going to get more and more frequent and the thing is chancy has a 10 percent chance to spawn in cerulean cave so just kind of keep going through it and it's not going to be too bad like chancy after a few screen scrolls it eventually just kind of pops up so it's not the most infrequent thing and as you're wandering around time is ticking down so you're able to get the items that are hanging out in cerulean cave that's only catch combo of 13 ending up with 10,000 experience. So if it get, if we get faster than that, then we can see like, it just blows the experience rates. Oh, hey, Golden Raspberry. As we were talking about that. It just blows the experience rates out of the water for the Elite Four because you're you're getting like a thousand experience for Pokemon. It's so weird. But if you're actually getting a Chansey every minute or two, then that means that experience starts becoming the highest we've ever seen in Pokemon to a degree. But we have to get there. And also once you get a high enough catch combo, Snorlax appears. That's just one of the rare Pokemon inside of Cerulean Cave. It's interesting because Chansey is like a rare Pokemon everywhere else, but in Cerulean Cave, it's a bit more common. Uh, if you want to reset the room, just to, like maybe try to force some other Pokemon spawns, you can head down, head back up. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, you just you just RNG it, and then sometimes there's Chansey all over the place. Like, hey, that time it worked, and that time we got a tiny Chansey. So now let's see. I'm going to do this one more time, just kind of show you guys crazy experience could happen. Let's do the Golden Raspberry. Patience. Let's go for the ultimate patience, Zen mode. We got this. Oh, it's swatting away, giving me that time. Mm, I wanted to throw it then, but let's do it. All right, great throw, I'll take it. I just hope for the best right now so I can look good for, for the video and just kind of prove everything that's going on right now. That makes me sad. Okay, that last Chansey was way too scuffed. Also, there's three Chansey on screen right now, so sometimes your luck just gets crazy. So let's try that again. Man, I don't like wasting golden raspberries, but I mean, again, regular raspberry, any slight little advantage helps. It's going to swat. That would be some awkward timing. Ugh. If my voice gets uh, quiet and then loud, that's because I'm trying to avoid my microphone as I'm doing this. I'm a lot better off camera because I'm not like aiming for my computer and recording and stuff. Okay, good. We have a nice one to show. Is like the RNG is crazy. This could be like really good or really bad. 16,000 experience getting up there. And it just kind of shows like the growing experience on the Chansey. We're getting levels all over the place. Our Pokemon are getting strong. And yeah, you do an Elite Four run, you get money, you get Chansey, you get money, you get levels, and then things happen, and then you find items, and maybe you pick up a Master Ball along the way. So there's a lot of benefit. It just kind of brings all the mechanics that of Pokemon Let's Go together. So now let's talk about Bottle Caps. Because you beat Mina and you get Bottle Caps. Cool. In Vermilion City, you might have already met this familiar face, but Mina is hanging out on the dock outside the SSN, and you can just keep battling her for bottle caps. Now, it's once a day, and after you beat the Elite Four, it's going to be, like, she's going to have higher level Pokemon, and I think there's, like, a lot of cool things that are going on with this, because it kind of shows, like, the usage of experience, that you're, catch you're catching all these Chansey, you're getting a lot of experience, makes these battle e battles easier, it makes the Gym Leader rematches easier as well, and then you just end up with money, and then you can use that to get Chansey and then you end up with bottle caps and fun stuff like that. Now she only gives silver bottle caps and to get gold bottle caps you have to go to the Celadon game corner which I will show you guys in a second once we get through this. Now Miss Mom just has high special defense so it's going to take a little bit of time to get through. Now the game corner is unfortunately a shadow of its former self because of stupid gambling laws but you can still roll the dice here every day because there's item spawns and you can find the gold bottle cap. Now the interesting thing is that it resets every time you restart the game. So there's a few item spawns and you can just like keep going for it until you end up with a gold bottle cap. So right here against the wall, you'll be able to find an item. I already collected it, but I messed up the uh, recording, so I already have that item. But the thing is, if you pay attention to your Eevee, it wags its tail. And you can go and find the items that way. So right here is going to be the second location. Third location is right here. And it's mostly berries, but then you'll like eventually end up with a gold bottle cap. Very rare, but like technically a way of farming it. Uh, fourth location is there, and then fifth location is right here. And that's going to be it. So yeah, if you don't like what you end up getting, you can just go and reset your game. 
So that's going to be a soft reset. And it takes, you know, that the 30 seconds to get through the animation again, which is going to be fairly problematic. But at the same time, for golden bottle caps, and you already have a little 100 Pokemon, you just go and max it out. That's the thing. Now, I wouldn't be super worried. Depending on what events Game Freak does and how frequent they are, they, they usually have, like, gold bottle caps or sometimes silver bottle caps with them. So I feel like... For certain events, they're just going to start giving away bottle caps, so unless you're like actually doing it for legendary Pokemon, or you're really worried about certain Pokemon, then that's not going to be too much of a problem, and eventually it'll just kind of like accumulate these items and stuff. So yeah, if we go back through here, the first item I got was a Raspberry, so let's go and check the wall right here. Health candy. Yeah, that's that's definitely changed. So you can also get candies here. Not really too big of a deal, because as you're doing insane chains, you're going to find insane amounts of candies. So, Raspberry... I'm doing this for myself at this point, because I, I also just want to, you know, maybe have a couple of gold candies hanging around. Tough candy large, or not gold candies, gold bottle caps. Tough candy large, you can tell how that's completely different. Nana berry, so yeah, it's how much you want to reset this, or you just check it every day and chill. On top of all the other things that you're doing. Now remember guys, resetting your game does end any catch combo that you currently have, so don't soft reset unless you absolutely have to. Or you're in a position where you can and that's pretty much it so yeah low 100 Pokemon level 50 Pokemon experience not absolutely necessary in these games if you really want specific rare Pokemon on your team it is something you might have to go for but a lot of Pokemon are fairly easy to get a hold of and then chain and then you just get them to like to a good state and then you end up with the Pokemon you're looking for Madame Celadon plus uh, four IVs on chains means you're eventually just going to get the five IV Pokemon that you're looking for and everything else is going to fall into place. So guys, enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.